fill in the blank question is with Canvas. Recently, Canvas made an update, so let's check out your options and see how you can enhance your quizzes through Canvas. So here I've got a generic quiz, and I'm gonna go to fill in the blank. Now, I'm gonna use the back ticks, which look like this right here, in order to indicate where my blank is going to go. That back tick is located in the upper left hand corner of your keyboard. And once I put those back ticks around my blank, I have a couple of different options. Here I have open entry, which means that students type it in themselves. I've got drop down, and I can also make a word bank. Let's start with open entry. Now, what's nice about open entry is that you have a couple of different options. Close enough allows you to indicate that case or capitalization isn't going to impact their response. So I've got that right here. And then I'm gonna press done. And let's take a look at a second way that you can use fill in the blank. Once I type my prompt there, again, I'm gonna have those options. I'm gonna use drop down right here. I can put red, I can put yellow, I can put all sorts of different options here. And I'm gonna select the correct option. Then I'm gonna press done right here. And finally, the third way that I can do this is I'm gonna use fill in the blank right here. Make sure that I have those back ticks. And then I'm, I can have a word bank. And here I can add as many different distractor words as I'd like. And now let's look at it from the student view. So as students taking this test, here are the different options. Now here is that open entry and I can put it in all caps and I'll, you'll be able to see that it doesn't matter that capitalization, the student will get it correct. The sky is blue, I've got my drop down right here. And then this is my personal favorite version of fill in the blank where I can drag the answer right here. And now I can press submit. And you see that there's three different ways to use that fill in the blank feature. So check it out and add it to your canvas.